fistula actually is an abnormal communication between two epithelized surfaces okay so this is a fistula abnormal uh, communication between two epithelized uh, surfaces okay and we have a specific type of fistula which is the enterocutaneous fistula which is a communication between the uh, small and large bowel okay and the skin from the name it is an entero small or large bowel and the skin so we have the enterocutaneous fistula okay so this is enterocutaneous fistula enterocutaneous fistulas in 75 percent of cases are due to surgery okay so most of the fistulas enterocutaneous fistulas are post-operative fistulas actually we have other 15 percent and the other 15 percent is constituted by exposure to radiation uh, by injury trauma and so on okay so most of the cases are due to surgery and the rest are due to uh, trauma inflammatory bowel disease ulcerative colitis uh, injury and so on actually we have many factors that makes that make fistula healing is uh, more preferred okay just like a uh, long tract fistula or uh, the uh, the small defect fistulas okay continuity maintained fistula these allow the patient to pass a stool okay so the fistulas that allow the patients to pass stool normal way uh, are more prone to heal okay colonic fistula also duodenal fistula now what are the factors that delay or prevent the closure of the fistulas the presence of foreign bodies for example is a preventive factor for fistula early closure okay anemia a bad blood supply to the area will delay the closure of the fistula some drugs okay stitching over that fistula the tumor okay tumors malignancies can prevent fistula closure okay radiation radiation see the scan and so on okay short and wide fistula so i told you that longer the fistula is the longer the fistula is the less time it takes to close so if we have short and wide fistula it that will prevent fistula from being closed okay and distal obstruction of that fistula okay if we have a distal obstruction then the closure is of the fistula is non-favorable even in the presence of other factors that help in uh, closure of the fistula uh, actually when we have these factors the surgical intervention is mostly needed to uh, overcome that fistula okay so this video ju was just to talk about the favorable things uh, for factors for spontaneous closure of the fistula and unfavorable factors for spontaneous closure thank you very much for watching this video see you in another video